Do you have Windows 11 on your computer and you're confused by gallery and photos? Don't worry, I don't really think anyone even knows what gallery is. Join me now and let's take a look closer at it. Molly Bartelt, I own Pixology, where we've been helping people feel confident and motivated in saving their family photos for over 10 years. Windows 11 has really thrown us for a loop. We have this new gallery icon in File Explorer, and we have the Pictures Folder app, and we're like, are these related? Are they the same thing? What's going on? So let's check it out. We are looking at File Explorer, and we're in the Home View. You can see there's this little gallery icon, and there's the Pictures Folder. They're two different things. I don't actually know what you call this gallery. Is it an app or is it just a feature in File Explorer? It's really kind of murky. Anyway, I could see why people get mixed up. So when I click on gallery, theoretically this will show you pictures that you have on your computer. But <laughs> that is not exactly the case and it really doesn't explain this well. The two areas I think that the photos really will show up here is if you have pictures in your pictures folder, and I do not have any right now, and the other place is if you have connected your phone to uh, the computer to sync your pictures. When you do that, when you click Add Phone Photos, it wants to connect Microsoft OneDrive to your computer. and sync your pictures through an app on your phone. I have found people create way more of a mess by using OneDrive. So I usually teach you should just uh, connect your phone to your computer and copy your pictures over. If you wanna see how to do that, there's a playlist up there. Okay, now we are back looking at gallery and I'm gonna just tell you, I have photos in other places on this computer, like in my downloads folder. There's tons of pictures in here and they're not showing up in gallery. I could add the downloads folder to gallery, but now we're making things complicated. I also have pictures on this um, external hard drive. You can see it's this two terabyte passport, my master family photos folder. Anytime you connect a drive, it won't necessarily show up in the gallery unless you add the folder. I never connect anything here. It's just, it, it will bring in all of your photos and it'll show them chronologically, which might be helpful, but organizationally, it can get really mixed up and you don't know what you have where. So I stick with um, a master family photos folder. If I have photos to organize, I call it, I have a folder for photos to organize. Bottom line here is we don't connect gallery. It just gets too confusing. There is one reason why you would want to use gallery and you won't even necessarily know you're using it. Let's say you want to review the photos in a folder. You're going to go to that folder. So I'm going to just go to the 2010s. Now you know I have some work to do in here. I'm going to open up 2014 photos and anytime that you double click on a picture, you're actually launching the <laughs> gallery app if it's an app, I don't even know. So now I can see my picture full up and this isn't the best digital picture, 2014, that's 10 years ago, but it's good enough. So I can cycle through here and delete pictures as I go if I think they're repetitive. You may want to review more than one at once. So there's this little film strip down here. When you select that, you can then pick pictures to compare with each other. And you might find that really useful when you're looking through your photos. And that's about all that I would use this gallery feature for. And you don't even know that you're using gallery because nothing on the icon says it's gallery. I'm gonna show you one last thing. So here's this picture is, I'm gonna copy it. I just use control C to copy it. I'm gonna go to the pictures folder and I'm gonna paste it in there. All right, so now this photo is in there. When I go back to my gallery, now that photo is in there. So gallery will show you the photos that are in your pictures folder. 
But again, I really, I steer away from importing or adding folders to gallery because it really becomes kind of a rat's nest. That's what I wanted to show you about File Explorer on Windows 11 with the Gallery and Pictures folder. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or thoughts about how you use it, leave them in the comments below because they could help someone else as well. If you wanna know more about our organizing system, you can <laughs> download this document, the Roadmap to Organizing Your Photos, where we cover all the moving parts of saving your family memories. And if you need a video for how to organize photos with Windows File Explorer 11, you're gonna wanna watch that video next. Thanks so much, we'll see you the next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>